All right, the rain hit the metro once again. Yeah, fortunately, we didn't have any clouds for those supermoons last night, but the clouds are back, dumping heavy rain in parts of the state. So we do have flood advisories right now for all the area shaded in dark green. So if you find yourself under a heavy downpour, do not cross any flooded roadways and stay away from the Arroyos and also a flash flood watch for far northeastern New Mexico until 11 o'clock. Now here's what's going on on the radar right now. Some light spotty showers trying to develop along the foothills of the Sandia Mountains here in the metro. We did have a stronger storm near Los Lunas in Berlin, but you can see that has fizzled out, but there's still a chance that we could have more rain here in Albuquerque. Then as we track farther to the north along Interstate 25, some steady to moderate rain near Las Vegas and just here east, a stronger storm and then also some storms firing off around the San Juans and far northern New Mexico. Then as we take you around Vaughn, we're seeing a strong line of storms basically not moving very much just to the east of Estancia. So that's why we have all those flooding concerns right now because these storms are popping up, not moving much at all, dumping a lot of heavy rain. So the flooding concerns very high for tonight and also for the next few days. And then around Socorro, we have a flash flood warning that runs until later on this evening. And this storm again, not moving much at all, just basically sitting on top of Socorro and Interstate 25 and then further to the south around Silver City. We have storms pushing in from the east to the west into Grant County and some spotty activity in Luna County just to the east of Deming. So Deming, you'll see a little bit of activity here in just a few minutes. A wider view of what's going on. It didn't take long for those storms to fire around the mountains and then it eventually drifting slowly away from the northern mountains and also here in central New Mexico. Some activity around the Sacramento Mountains and you can see a lot of us getting in on the action with the exception of southeastern New Mexico, but that will be changing as we head into the next few days because we're going to see more rounds of storms as we head into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and even into Thursday. A live look outside right now in the metro. We do have those clouds and sometimes you'll see some rain trying to fall along the Sandias. The temperature of 81 degrees and it is rather breezy. So if you are stepping out the door for dinner or that walk this evening, you will notice that with gusts from 24 miles per hour. Temperatures right now where it has been raining in the middle 60s in Las Vegas, 64 in Rurido. So we're in the lower 80s in Albuquerque and it's 74 in Socorro. Expanding the picture as we head into the overnight hours for tonight, like the past few nights, we're going to see these storms eventually come to an end. But tomorrow, another cold front is going to move in and that's going to trigger even more storms as we head into the afternoon hours, especially areas that were already hard hit today. So flooding a huge concern for northeast New Mexico for tomorrow. And then as we head into Tuesday, we'll watch another cold front move in to the northeast and that will continue to pump in the moisture and bring the chance for hit or miss storms for much of New Mexico for the week ahead. Here's the extended forecast for Durango, Pagosa Springs temperatures into the middle to upper 80s to near 90 degrees. And you can see pretty much for the next seven days, we're talking about a chance for some afternoon and evening storms with temperatures holding in the middle 80s for the week ahead in Durango. Over to Farmington, you'll be at 93, 86 in Gallup and Grants with a chance for more afternoon and evening storms. And then over to the southwest, it's going to be active tonight. Another round of storms possible, especially around the Gila for tomorrow afternoon. That chance for storms continues for Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Then over to Roswell and Carlsbad, we'll have a chance for storms tomorrow afternoon, especially around the Sacramento Mountains. Temperatures in the low to mid 90s and then over to the northeast temperatures into the 80s, upper 70s and more. 82 in Las Vegas and then over to the North Mountains temperatures into the 80s with a chance for more storms and then into the East Mountains we'll have more storms on the way for tomorrow with temperatures into the middle 80s and in the metro we'll top out near 90 degrees kind of like today with a chance for afternoon storms and that chance will continue into the middle of the week. All right thanks so much Chris. Here's Lawrence with sports.